were given with the equation of velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis. And this equation is given by 2t minus t squared, where t represents the time and of course its positive number. In the first part of this question, we need to find the distance between the starting point and the point where the particle is at the moment when t is equal to 3 seconds. Of course, when we need to find this distance, we need to find the equation of displacement of our particle. We do know that displacement, we denote by f of t, is, uh, and its derivative with respect to time is just our velocity of the particle. So to find the equation of displacement, we need to find the antiderivative of our function of velocity. So we have that df of t over the t is just 2t minus t squared. And of course, f of t is then is just antiderivative. So antiderivative of 2t is just t squared minus the antiderivative of t squared which is just t to the power 3 over 3. And of course, we don't uh, forget about the constant, because this constant, when we differentiate the constant, it's just zero. And this is not the complete equation of our displacement of the particle, because we haven't uh, written the displacement of our particle at moment zero. So to find this, we just substitute t equal to zero. So f of zero is 0 squared, just 0 minus, again, 0, so 0 plus this constant c. So, of course, we cannot find this constant because it's unknown. But we can write our equation of displacement as t squared minus t cubed over 3 plus f of 0. So it's just some constant, and we do not know where the particle was at the beginning of time. But to find the distance between the starting point f of 0 at the point where the, our particle is at the moment t equals to 3, we just need to find where the particle was at the moment 3, subtract f of 0, and take the absolute value. So we will substitute this, it is f of 3. So 3 squared, which is 9, minus 3 to the power 3 over 3, so it's 27 over 3, plus f of 0, and minus f of 0 now. So although we do not know what is the um, uh, displacement of our particle at the moment 0, it just cancels out for this question. And now we have 9 minus 27 over 3 which is just 9. 9 minus 9 is of course 0. So in the second part of this question we need to find the total distance traveled by our particle in 3 seconds. From the first part we do know that our particle moved at the point t equals to 3 at the, to the same point as the starting point. So our particle moved somewhere here and then went back to exactly the same point. And so although the distance between f of 0 and f of 3 is 0, the total distance traveled by our particle cannot be 0 because the velocity is not equal to 0. So, and we need to find our total distance. To find it, we do need to remember that when the velocity of our particle is positive, our particle moves in the positive direction and the when well, strictly greater than zero. And our, when our velocity is strictly less than the zero, our particle moves it in the negative direction. So we need to find where our particle when our particle changes the direction of movement. To find it, we need to find when our velocity was equal to zero. So we just set 2t minus t squared equals to zero, which is the same as t2 minus t equals to zero. And therefore just we have that t is either equal to zero or equal to two. And at this point 
our, uh, the, our particle changes the, the direction. Um, so we do not take t equals to zero because we, do, we need to find the total distance traveled in three seconds. So we take t equals to two. And now we look at this picture. We have here f of zero. We do know that from when t is between zero and two, our particle moves in the positive direction. So it goes up to f of two and then goes back to f zero. So and the total distance is the double distance between f of zero and f of two. So we can write that our total distance is just given as twice as the distance f of 2 minus f of 0. And therefore we can just substitute 2 in the equation of displacement. Uh, so I will remind that the equation of displacement is given by t squared minus t to the power 3 over 3 plus f of 0. So we will substitute 2 into this equation. We will have that two, uh, our total distance is twice, so 2 squared is just 4, minus 2 to the power 3 over 3 is just 8 over 3, plus f of 0, and again minus f of 0. So, as in the previous part, f of 0 just cancels out, and we have 4 minus 8 over 3. It is just so it's 2, so it's 12 minus 8 over 3, which is just 2 times 4 over 3, which is 8 over 3. And this is the total distance trail by our particle in the 3 seconds.